bright sunshine for around 300 days in a year. Swift winds over most of the geographical area. Numerous powerful water streams in hilly regions and abundant greenery all over. Mother Nature has bestowed a bounty of natural resources to India. The exponential growth in population followed by urbanization and industrialization are increasing the demand of power day by day. Hence, India developed a strategy and roadmap to explore and exploit renewable sources of energy to power its dream of sustainable growth. A separate department of non-conventional energy sources was created in 1982, which was upgraded as an exclusive, dedicated and federal ministry in 1992, which was re-christened as Ministry of New and Renewable Energy in 2006. Recent resource assessments indicate India has over 1000 gigawatt potential of renewable power from wind, solar, biomass and small hydropower. On the global platform of UN Climate Change Summit at Paris, India committed to reduce the emission intensity of GDP. We have set ambitious targets. By 2030, we will reduce emissions by 33 to 35 percent of 2005 levels and produce 40 percent of our power from non-fossil fuels. Government upscaled the target of renewable energy capacity to 175 gigawatt by 2022, which includes solar, wind, biopower and small hydropower. Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, launched a national solar mission in 2010 with 20 gigawatt target which has now been enhanced to 100 gigawatt. Conducive policies, favorable and friendly regulations for purchase of solar power, common acquisition of land and infrastructure development have facilitated the growth of solar power and establishment of 34 solar parks in 21 states with aggregate capacity of 20 gigawatt. Government has recently launched second phase with additional 20 gigawatt capacity. Today, India takes pride in commissioning the world's largest solar park of 1000 megawatt in Karnool, Andhra Pradesh. The solar power has attained grid parity in India. The levelized tariff of solar power, which was once about 30 US cents or over 17 Indian rupees per unit, has come down to less than 4 US cents or 2.5 Indian rupees per unit. Under Make in India, high quality solar photovoltaic cells, modules, systems and devices are being manufactured at competitive prices. In rural India, a special scheme for installation of over 100,000 solar water pumps is transforming the agricultural scenario and also easing accessibility to drinking water. Off-grid solar plants, LED solar home lights, solar lanterns, LED solar street lights being installed in rural and urban areas are transforming the quality of life. Over 1 million solar lamps have been distributed to students of tribal and backward communities in over 10,000 villages. A skilled workforce of over 11,000 Suramitras against targeted 50,000 are already providing the services for technical solutions in field. Policy facilitations Easy and low cost of financing have created a wave of solar rooftops across the country. Small and large urban dwelling units, institutions, airports, railway stations, defense establishments, industry and other government establishments are installing and enjoying the benefits of solar rooftops through net metering mechanism. An innovative step has been taken to utilize vast area of canal banks and canal tops for installing solar projects. No wonder, now India proudly hosts world's largest solar rooftop installation of 12.5 megawatt on a single roof at Dera Bias in Punjab. MNRE supports and promotes emerging concentrated solar thermal technology for various thermal applications in urban India 
which include industries, dairy and other enterprises. In wind energy sector, latest estimates at 100 meter level put Pan India potential at more than 302 gigawatt. Business potential and lucrative returns have made wind power a champion, having large share in the total installed capacity of renewables. India has reached wind manufacturing capacity of 10,000 megawatt per annum. The country has developed a manufacturing base of international quality at competitive prices, with indigenization reaching to over 70%. Manufacturers are offering a wide range of turbines with over 55 models of capacities ranging from 225 kilowatt to 3 megawatt. Moving further, MNRE has taken steps for repowering of old turbines and exploration of offshore wind energy. Unique intervention of e-reverse auction is proving its worth by discovering lowest tariff of Rs 3.46 per unit for 1000 megawatt wind power projects. Now, India is the fourth largest producer of wind power in the world. Ministry is promoting renovation of existing old water mills for grinding floor and also generate electricity for individual households and cluster of villages. Government is encouraging foreign investors to set up renewable power projects in India with 100% foreign direct investment. In hilly and difficult terrains, small hydropower units up to 25 megawatt are proving their worth by providing clean power at affordable cost. With quick capacity additions, nearly 4,400 megawatt capacity has been installed so far. In rural areas, nearly 50 lakh improved biogas plants are providing clean fuel for cooking and power generation. Similarly, Improved biomass cookstoves for domestic and community cooking are conserving greenery and also saving women from drudgery of collecting fuel wood from distances. Bagas based cogeneration in sugar mills are producing enough power to meet the electricity requirements of the mills. Besides, surplus power is sold to power grid for additional income. Improved biomass power plants producing power mainly from agricultural residues and wastes have been installed by large number of private enterprises. Urban solid wastes are proving a boon for generating electricity through waste to energy projects. India has over 57 gigawatt renewable power which accounts for 18% of total installed capacity. Over the years, MNRE has built up a robust institutional infrastructure and network for providing policy development and R&D support to its schemes and programs. As an emerging leader of renewable energy on the global map, India has developed competencies to offer consultancy service for installation of renewable power projects, renewable energy resource assessment, monitoring and evaluations of renewable energy projects, appropriate technologies for wide-scale adoption and specific R&D projects on turnkey basis. India has also led to the creation and launch of international solar airlines with 121 solar resource-rich countries as members. No doubt, India has the makings of becoming the world capital of green energy and is heading towards realizing the dream of clean, green and affordable power to all.